folks, Chris here, and we're going to test our first load, and we're going to start off using garage towels. Uh, these are just nasty old white towels. I already have stains on them, and uh, right now they are just full of mud because this 125-pound beast here loves to run around and get his nasty-ass feet just piled with mud. So we're going to start here before we actually do some real clothes and we're going to use this as our first test all right first off excuse this room this used to be our food pantry it's now our makeshift laundry room uh, this is one of the rooms that flooded um, besides our laundry room so uh, i just had to put something together we had to rip up the flooring and everything any case we are starting out with a tablespoon and a half of this homemade soap um, i'm not going to use bleach or liquid fabric softener or anything else. This is just the soap and the soap alone. And uh, this is what we're gonna use. Okay, this was completely unexpected. Um, the smell, uh, there absolutely is no smell. There's no good smell, bad smell, chlorine smell, uh, those fabric crystals. Uh, there is absolutely no smell. I don't know if that's good or bad. Um, again, we just use a tablespoon and a half. Might try more next time, but uh, there's absolutely no smell. Okay, on this first test, I'm still a little mixed. Um, I know this is hard to explain in words, but uh, it feels clean. I mean, it's really dry um, and uh, a bit soft to the touch compared to some liquid detergent I made before, and everything came out really stiff. But this feels pretty good. But again, these are really old towels, um, and they've lost a lot of their softness over the years. So, uh, Again, that's why we're doing test one here, because there's several tests to come. But uh, overall, I I'm pretty positive on this aspect of it. Uh, so, again, test two is coming soon. Now, the first positive I noticed pulling it out of the dryer is all of this is a lot more vivid. And again, I didn't use bleach. So, uh... I was pretty impressed that even with these old towels, uh, the color, I mean, it just seems a little brighter. Um, as far as stains go, uh, all the old stains are still in there. It didn't get out of anything new, but uh, it did pull out all the mud and the dirt. So uh, it, again, it, it's clean, just like the, the, the feeling test. Um, it looks clean, it feels clean, has no smell, but uh, I, this is the positive. I, I, I felt like the, uh, the color was there. Now uh, we're going to try colors in the next test, but uh, overall, this was a positive. To wrap things up for test number one, um, smell, 
wasn't there. Uh, two, I'm still up in the air about softness. Um, three, uh, I actually was impressed with the, uh, the brightness of the fabrics. Um, but I didn't see any other stains removed. So uh, in conclusion, I store-bought brand still wins this test. But again, we're going to do several more tests. We'll see you soon for part four, uh, test two. Um, we're going to find out if this homemade laundry soap really works or if it's just a waste of time. And store-bought brand is the way to go. Uh, subscribe if you want. I don't really care. I'm not looking for fame and fortune. Likes and uh, comments. Um, good or bad, leave them below. I'm a big boy. I can take it. Until next time.